Welcome everyone, I will let you show you how to airdrop from your iPad to your MacBook. So to get the party started on your Mac, you just want to find the top right, you're going to see the control center, click on this, make sure Wi-Fi is on, make sure Bluetooth is on, then you're going to see the airdrop, click on this, and then make sure airdrop is on and you set this to everyone. Next, you're going to go to your iPad, you're going to swipe down from the top right, and you're going to be brought to the control center. You want to make sure Wi-Fi is on, Bluetooth's on and airdrop is also set to everyone. If it isn't, just tap on it and sell it to everyone. Next, you need to get those photos, uh, videos, files, whatever you want to airdrop, you just need to find them. So the best bet is either the photos app or the files app. So let's open up photos. And let's say I want to airdrop uh, this picture right here. You want to long press on the picture. You're going to tap on share, airdrop, and then you're going to select your Mac. Now you may see it in other devices if you're not linked to the same Apple ID. So we're just going to tap on the Mac. And you can see, it's not, uh, It's just like that. You can see AirDrop received a photo from iPad. Now, if your device isn't recognized, so you don't see it inside the devices, you see it inside of other devices, all you will need to do is there might be a prompt. You just want to click on the accept and then you'll be good to go. So once everything's done, it should be the bottom right, downloads, and then the screenshot here, or whatever picture, you can see you're good to go. Now, inside of the files application, process is slightly different. It's virtually the same though. So let's open up the files and let's go to on my iPad. We'll go to download. <laughs> let's 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 say I drop this text first. You just do the same thing. You long press, uh, long press, and then share, and then airdrop, and then you airdrop that over. Now, if you want to airdrop multiple stuff, best bet is to just long press in the empty space, new folder, and then you just want to tap on select. Let's say we're going to have this. We're going to have this, and we're going to move this inside that folder. So on my iPad, download the folder, move. And then you just want to airdrop this folder, so long press the folder. And you want to find the share. And you can airdrop that folder as well over to your Mac. And yeah, that's everything you need to know. So hopefully this video did help you out. If it did, make sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're brand new. Thanks for watching. See you guys later. Bye-bye.